Alright guys, this is the garden update for July 8th, and I figured I'd show you a shot of overall shot of where things are kind of growing here on the back deck. So we have the tomatoes over here, and the main garden's right there, and you can see in the back there, near the bush line, that is where the corn is growing. And just to the right of that greenhouse there, behind that tree, is where the cabbages and the other garden is so let's go take a look at it all right guys so here's a shot of the broccoli and cabbages so we got cabbages growing in the first row here and you can kind of make out there's heads and they're further starting to develop and these are pretty big plants here and in the second row i believe those are all broccoli and we can kind of see there is a head starting to form so maybe another 15 day for those broccolis. And then it appears we have some extra cabbages and some stuff coming in in the back. Something was in here. As you could see, there was a plant demolished in the back and we do have a netting over, over this as you can kind of make out there's a netting here. And I guess a deer got caught up in this. Got caught up in this netting and ripped some of the plants. You can kind of see there was a lot of damage. They were uprooted. So there was some problems and it also affected some of these radishes here. Some of the radishes got pulled out and this net basically just pulled on everything. And I guess somehow the groundhog is making his way underneath this net sometimes and he demolished quite a few of these plants at the back. All right, so here's a shot of the radishes growing right beside the broccolis here. And we also have lettuce that we haven't been able to harvest. So much lettuce, guys. Beside that, we have peppers of all sorts. And pepper plants aren't that big, but there is little peppers uh, growing on them. Like you can make one out right there. So they're kind of staying small, but there's a lot of peppers. A lot of basil growing. Lots of basil there, guys. Basically, we just go through there with a pair of scissors and kind of top them all and it just kind of regrows. And above that, we have the dill. Let's take a better shot of the dill. So it looks like something kind of went through the dill and is knocking over the dill, but... Uh, it looks like something's kind of been eating them too by the looks of it. Hard to tell, but dill is going good. All right, so here's an overall shot of the main garden. We have cukes to the far left, cucumbers to the far left. You can't really see them because they're being hidden by these beans here. Front and center are the beans. And then we have some Grand Rapid lettuce and can't eat this lettuce fast enough. It just keeps on growing back every time you take some. And then we have romaine, which is pretty much close to being ready to be harvested. And then we have our carrots, and there's a few parsnips kind of growing there, not too many, and beets and turnips. So let's go take a look, better look at that. Okay guys, so here's a shot of the turnips, and we got two rows of turnips here, and the mosquitoes are eating me. But let's see if we can make out some turnips in there. Uh, you could probably see one hiding right there. Uh, but a lot of them didn't produce. There's also some right here. A lot of them didn't produce and they're kind of have root systems growing above the ground like this. And then other ones were in the ground and they produced. And I suspect this had something to do with the way it was thinned and the way it was planted. So some of them are growing like that. So it might not be the best harvest of them. But there is turnip action. And actually, I believe this first row here on the left is actually rutabagas. And this second row is actually turnip. So beside those, we got beets. And we have beets starting here. Let's see if we could look at some beets. So you can kind of make out there is some beets kind of starting there. Still quite early. Um, a lot of them are about that size right there. And then we have carrots and the lettuce. 
not really too much to look at here, but we could look at the size of the lettuce. So the lettuce leaves are quite big, and we kind of been harvesting it just from the bottoms up, basically harvesting the sides. And over here beside the lettuce, we have the beans. And the beans are starting to flower, so probably won't be too long, and they'll start producing some beans. And beside the beans, we have cucumbers. And the cucumbers are kind of being kind of hidden here by the beans, but you can kind of make out, and there's even a second row that was later planted. So, cucumbers are kind of growing slow, but they'll eventually climb up this fence here. And just outside the main garden, we have our barrels of parsnip, carrot, more parsnip, and more carrot. And some of these are kind of turning black inside from extra watering. You can kind of see there, guys. It's kind of black in there. Wasn't thin very good in some of these, and it's kind of... Kind of causing some rot, so I'm not sure what's going to happen here. Alright, and here's a shot of the tomatoes. And not too much to see here, but we can see some tomato blooms. And if you look closely, there is a few little tomatoes developing. Uh, but they're kind of starting to bloom a little more. We've had cold nights, so it is quite early for them, for us, for where we're located, so... I mean, they are coming along. And just around back of the main garden, we have the potatoes. And the potatoes are growing quite tall. So I think they're over three and a half feet tall, maybe four. And a deer has been coming by and topping the, the potatoes here, eating the blooms. So there's a lot of bloom action going on. Not sure if there's potatoes in there. We're trying something new, so we'll see what's going to happen there. And just beside the potatoes, we have another cucumber garden. And you can kind of make out the cucumbers a lot better here. So there's cucumbers in here, and eventually it's going to take over this fence. And to the back of the property, we have corn. And we got some other things growing. Let's take a look at Stump Garden. All right, so here we are in Stump Garden again, and you can see the corn, and I got this kind of kind of line here protecting them because there was animal traffic that was trampling over the corn and ripping the plants out as they were walking through. So I just kind of put this up as a deterrent so that they wouldn't break the plants. And a groundhog keeps on coming in and cutting my string at the back there. You can kind of see the string is on the ground. So he didn't like that. And he, but the corn is about, I don't know, two and a half feet tall. It's growing pretty good. So, And just beside the corn, we have some watermelons growing. Not doing too good. And there's also a volunteer tomato plant growing right there. We just kind of left it. So, And we also planted uh, right in front of that front row and center some extra cucumbers which I'm suspecting, you know, the groundhog is probably going to have fun with all this stuff. But we just had some extra seeds and we just basically threw them there. Front and center, we have some dill growing up in here as well. And this is basically right in front of the corn. Had a little section for dill. And you might be able to make it out. It kind of looks like carrots. So there's a lot of dill in here. And hopefully that'll continue to grow. All right guys, and I figured I'd show you on the back of the deck here, we have some broccolis growing. And the reason I'm showing you these is because they might come into play later on in the year for a fall crop. So these broccolis were started in early June and we're probably gonna move them into the garden later uh, if we have room. And there's also some cabbages here starting too. So these were planted late June. So might have room for a fall crop. 